Hi, I'm George, TSG's Open Content Product Manager. In this comparison video, I'm going to compare how users work with documents and folders in both WebTop and Open Content Management Suite. So here I am in WebTop and I'm looking at a, a folder. In this case, uh, we're looking at a policy folder. Um, and WebTop has a folder hierarchy, sort of the main way to find documents. So I can kind of drill down into cabinets that I have access to. And um, you know I can click the plus sign to get uh, subfolders and then drill into the folders. Um, so this, while it's familiar to many users, it can get cumbersome for complex systems. And it also sort of gives me you know, one way to get to folders um, rather than what we're gonna see in open content, which is more search driven. So once I get to the folder that I want, I can see the documents in the folder over here on the left. Um, and WebTop does provide some user customization type features. I can click on these columns to sort. Um, I can come in here and change the visible columns and their order. Um, but one of the things here that we mentioned is that it really only gives you the uh, base document and folder attributes. So if you have some custom uh, attributes that you want to show based on the doc type um, that can't be done with the out-of-the-box configuration you have to modify webtop to do that we can do some basic filtering um, it's really just uh, limited to a starts with so I can you know start typing in here and uh, then I have to either hit enter or this little arrow button and then it will filter down Now, when working with documents, um, basically it's it's very much like uh, Windows Explorer. So I can select a document um, by clicking on its row. I can hold down the Control key and select multiple. Um, but then the right-click menu gives me some actions uh, that WebTop lets you configure as far as what shows up. Uh, but I also have this menu bar at the top where uh, additional uh, actions appear here. Um, so again, while this can be familiar to some users, there's also the chance that the uh, menus get a little bit too complex for users and certain things uh, users don't know exist because they're buried in submenus. One other thing to note here in WebTop is there's really no way to preview a document inside the browser without downloading it to the user's local machine. Um, so for example, this policy contracts a PDF, which is perfectly uh, good to view in a browser, uh, but there's no preview here for the document. I have to actually double click the document or I can use the file menu, which launches the file transfer service. And I have to wait until the entire document is pulled down to my local machine. And then it is launched inside Acrobat, the native editor, and I can view the document. So now I'm gonna switch over to Open Content Management Suite, and we'll go over a uh, very similar uh, scenario and how it, how it looks over here. So as I mentioned before, Open Content Management Suite really focuses more in on search for finding uh, folders rather than a folder browser. We feel that this is much more powerful when it comes to finding folders because I have multiple ways to get to it. So here I'm looking for a policy. I can go ahead and just search for all policies with policyholder TSG and get back my result set. Now this is Open Content's uh, searches uh, default search view. So here I can do all the same things like reorder columns and click on columns to sort. Um, I can right click and uh, get different uh, columns to appear. And as you see here, these are uh, custom attributes. So that's all configurable in our admin to be able to configure custom properties to appear here. We also have nice quick filtering and faceting for filtering results. So uh, rather than needing to execute another query, I can just start typing and it'll filter down the results in the table, no matter you know whatever's in the table. So whether it was policy number in that case, or I can just start typing business and get the policy type to filter down. Uh, and then we can also use the faceting functionality here. So I can facet over here to just say, you know, only show me policies that were uh, 2016 and maybe open and filter down that way. 
So just to show how this can work in other ways, instead of uh, searching on policyholder, let's say we know the policy number and I'm just gonna type in that policy number and run another search. And here we can see I get my search results back. So I'm gonna go ahead and go view this uh, 2018 policy. And here I'm taken to the folder view. So up here on the left, we have a configurable list of custom properties that the admin can choose to display, sort of as a sort of, you know a quick view of properties beyond just the folder name that give context to the user of you know what folder I'm in. Over here on the right, we see the documents that are in this folder, and this is the exact same uh, view when it comes to uh, or as in the search. So I can again start filtering down. Uh, just like we did in the search. Um, and instead of the facets being over on the left, we can filter by facets over here using this filter by. And just like in search, we can rearrange columns and do sorting as well as uh, you know change uh, the columns that are displayed if I'd like. So over here on the left, we have some actions that can be executed on the folder. So there's the basic sort of view properties for the folder um, and add documents, which we uh, showed in the previous video for the contributor comparison. But we can also execute advanced actions on the folder uh, as well. So one common uh, action or a few common actions when it comes to our uh, case management clients is you know, things like this generate combined PDF where I can choose to say I want to combine, say, the policy contract in this annual report um, and then choose, you know, what pages to include. Um, and in this mode, I'm actually saving it uh, down to a uh, into the repository, but I can also have it just download locally. So that will actually uh, create the combined PDF. And I can go ahead and view it. So here's the two documents that were combined. So I have the contract as well as the report. Some other notable actions in here, um, I can create notes on the folder. Um, so you can configure these to uh, add notes automatically based on actions, but they can also be ad hoc. So I can you know, add a note to the folder. And go ahead and do that. And then other users that are working on this folder can come in and see my notes. Another common action that we see with our case management clients is giving users the ability to uh, send an email directly from this folder. So here I could fill out this and uh, send an email to someone, potentially attach documents from the folder, and actually send an email and record it directly from the interface here. So we have other actions available here, but I'm going to jump down to this related objects section here. Um, so as we saw before, we can display the documents in the folder uh, when you come into it, but we can also categorize the documents and show them in this sort of folder pseudo folder hierarchy view here. So uh, this policy contract has an attribute on it that says uh, that it is a contract, so it appears in this tag here. Um, and as you can see here, we can directly preview the document uh, in the browser without needing to download it from the user's local machine. Um, and there's actions that are available up here. Um, so some common ones here, if I want to view the document properties, we actually show this in a dual screen mode um, just to make it easy to view the document as well as the properties at the same time. And then we have other actions that appear here as well, um, you know, like checkout and document notes, uh, direct download. And uh, we also have a splitter, which is kind of the corollary to the combined PDF. We can actually take a PDF and split it into multiple documents. 
One thing to note here is that these actions are all configurable in our admin interface, and they are also uh, honoring repository security. So for example, if I only have read permissions on this document, I wouldn't see the checkout action or the delete action. One other thing I wanted to show here that's interesting is we can also surface content to the user that's related to this folder, but not necessarily in this folder. Um, so for example, here I'm looking at a policy in 2018. I can also see related claims and related policies. So for a case management type interface, this is very useful for the user to not lose their context. So if I'm working in this policy, I may want to see this uh, contract along with the uh, claim report that was submitted against this claim. So without losing my context to this policy, I can drill down into the related claim and actually look at this report object. And um, here I'll just go ahead and open it in the dual pane view. So this is going to open the uh, loss report document um, alongside my uh, my policy contract so that I can line the two up. And when I'm done, I haven't lost my context in the actual policy. And if I wanted to get back to my all documents view, I can go ahead and do that. Well, that's it for this comparison video. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our website and blog at tsgrp.com.